back in the day, yes. uh, when we were doing the late night show, it was fun. You you sort of you you were sort of a friend of the show. You would hang out there. Yeah, sometimes. Dorf and the whole. Yeah, and and, and one yeah. of our great writers, Mr. Kevin Dorf, and you would you would hang out with us. And um, you said you actually came to a really early show. Well, now here's my situation with you in this show. Is there's a little bit of like. Uh, a post-traumatic situation happening when I have to see you, and you've been nice enough to have me. And see, when I was like 15 years old, I was in Rockefeller Center with a girlfriend, and we were on mushrooms. Um, and <laughs> I just remember I was like, so I wasn't really like showbiz yet, you know. I was just in Rockefeller Center on mushrooms, <laughs> and um, and they like someone ushers me. They go, come this way. So we follow, you know, as you do. And suddenly we were inside uh, the studio audience of a very early taping. And actually you sort of look different because I remember at the time just being like sort of suddenly horrified by this thing we'd stepped into that was like no exit, you know? Because we didn't really, they slammed the doors and out comes was you. Was this like a test show maybe? Yes. Or like a really early version of our yeah. show? Yeah, okay. This is like many uh, years ago. Well, it's like 20 years ago. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and you come out and you're just like seven feet tall and like neon orange. And you just, <laughs> now this is the part I can't recall for sure. Is, were you singing Elvis to warm up the crowd? Yeah. Those were the I 90s, to, yeah. There was this whole period of time where I would come out and before the, the show warm up, yeah. you know, now we have this great guy, Jimmy Pardo comes out and warms up the crowd and does an amazing yeah. job. Back then we didn't know what the hell we were doing and people were like, how are we gonna warm up the crowd? I'd be like, I guess I'll sing them a tune. <laughs> so I would come out and I would full on do a hyperactive yeah. Elvis Presley show for the whole yes. crowd yeah. who liked it. Then I'd go back and I came out every night for the monologue out of breath and sweating <laughs> I mean, because I had done my own warm up like an idiot. Suffice to say, it was terrifying. Terrifying. I mean, but really. Yes. Yeah. That was the goal to terrify the crowd. <laughs> oh, it worked. I mean, it went from like Willy Wonka to Jacob's Ladder, but quick. <laughs> So that's a horrifying memory. Yeah, it is. I just feel like my I look face coming in at you. <laughs> <laughs> really. Don't do it. Oh, it's like flashbacks. Yeah. Yeah. Those were the days. Those were the days. Those were the days. Good God. Uh, well, now you're doing Orange. Yeah. Orange is the new black. Uh, this show uh, is a, people love it. People absolutely love it, and you do such a great job. But we have Thank a clip you. here. Uh, yeah. to tell us which scene, um, I believe it's this in is... prison. Yes. Uh, <laughs> having not seen the clip, I, um, I think it's almost all in prison. <laughs> it's going to be in prison. Yes. And uh, I, believe, I think this is like an early on. This is like an early intro situation. I believe this is where the main character yes. maybe misspeaks about the food in prison, which is uh, not a wise thing to do. No, no, don't do that when you go to prison. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Let's take a look at this clip from Orange is the New Black. <laughs> 